Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Airships Conquer the Skies with me, Lathrix. And of course, welcome to the video where we finally build ourselves an aircraft carrier. Now, in the previous video, we did a little bit of testing with these tiny little airships, and honestly, it wasn't really the best. Now, to be fair, we did only use a few of them, and we launched them from the ground. It really wasn't a good test, but our testing was, well, they kind of died instantly to rifles, did very minimal damage, and ultimately were a waste of our maintenance costs. So I probably won't be using those today, but instead, we have the bomber, we have the biplane, and we have the triplane. Now, most likely, we're going to be using the biplane rather than the triplane, just because it looks a little bit better, in my opinion. I know that's a silly reason. But it's true, I just think they do look a little bit better. These are also the tier 4, these are the tier 3. The biplanes also cost less when it comes to the recommended crew, which is pretty nice indeed. Operators, one crew member, whereas the triplane requires two. Although, how these are worded, it seems like they have a different purpose. Biplanes are very fast and exceptionally good at shooting down other small flying units. The triplane units are effective against lightly armoured targets. So from that, I would assume that the biplanes are better at fighting off other aircraft and then very, very light enemies, whereas the triplane can attack enemy ships a little bit better. But overall, I think I will be using the biplane almost just on its own. Now, we don't currently have this research in the campaign, but we will very soon. So before then, I decided let's just build this and test it out first. I really want to see how these even work. Now, one thing I did notice is that the bombers, well, in fact, all the planes, need an empty area above them to be used. Which means, if we do use balloons, which I really want to, because at this point, all of our aircraft use them, and it would feel wrong not to use them, then we're going to need to build them either behind or underneath. And I think underneath is how we're going to do it. So, perhaps, we could have it on the bottom. That's one thing we could do. I feel like that does make it a little bit more vulnerable, because then that section's the closest to the enemy, so the most accurate area to fire at is the balloons. Not the best. But it does mean when they get destroyed, they fall downwards, and therefore don't damage anything above them, which is fairly nice, or at least they damage it less. So maybe that would be a good idea. Having these along the bottom, have them all separated, I think that's what we're going to do. Now the idea of this is we have the aircraft pretty much in the corner of the map, sending out its attack force and just sitting there. So weapons like, where are you now? Not the dorsal turret, the ventral turret, which I think is at the bottom somewhere. There we are, the ventral turret. That would be pretty amazing. Perhaps rockets, stuff like that. So the next question is this. Do we want one very large carrier or multiple smaller carriers? I think I would like one large carrier, honestly. I think that would be an interesting thing to do. We could just make essentially a stick because these don't really require all that much. So just put the basic stuff here add some balloons, and you're good to go. But instead of that, let's make it a little bit more interesting. So then. I imagine we do need to attach these. Let's just do that for now. Obviously can't do anything above here, but we could go behind this. I'm guessing we can't put anything in front. Oh, no, we can. No, we can't. I was going to say, that would be weird. So behind it, we can change these blocks later. Let's put down... A crow's nest. Looks a bit weird being at the back, admittedly, but I don't think that actually matters, so that's always good. If it does matter, well, I'll find out later. The next thing I would like is a telescope. If we're going to be at the very top of the map, we're going to need both of these, so that can go there. That way, we should be incredibly accurate, despite the fact we are going to be very, very far away from the enemies. Okay, then. You really could make this into a stick. Like, seriously, because of how long this thing is, you could put pretty much everything you need just here. What about something like this? It turns out as well with the caps, not only are the caps much more efficient than these space-wise, but all of these attachment points here are indeed attachment points. So ignoring what it looks like, this block is exactly what it is in terms of the game. So that connects properly. If I place something there, it connects. At least I believe it connects there. Let's uh, let's do a bit of testing here before I'm proven wrong. 
that would probably be pretty good. So right now, yep, these two are not connected to each other. If I go to structural, go down to struts. Yep, that's a connection point, and let's do that as well. That's a connection point. Yep, it all works out pretty darn well. Lovely. So, this is pretty safe from itself. Well, mostly. It will still detonate after a few times, but still. It's far too much right now. So, I'm thinking some basic weaponry here and ammunition. So, this is separate from all the command stuff. So, if this section gets destroyed, it doesn't really matter too much. The aircraft will still function. Okay. Extremely explosive aerial torpedoes. I think they should all be put together. That's a great idea, isn't it? No, it's not. But still, their explosions don't actually hit all the way up here, which is good because that is where the ammo store is going to go. Actually, we could put it here. That seems to be unaffected by explosions. The problem is I don't know how the ammo store explodes, so let's do the reverse. You go there. Bang. 51th. Okay, so that wouldn't actually kill the aerial torpedoes. They're placed like that. And it would mean the ammo's right next to them, which is really efficient. But if they do detonate, they're definitely detonating. And that detonating is going to hurt. Hmm. Maybe it's for the best. I don't do that. And also, I don't know how this works. So let's say... The torpedo takes up these two. I'm guessing it takes the three and the 51, not just the highest. So maybe the ammo store should be one higher then. Yeah, then the torpedo's gonna... Okay, that's what I'm going to do. We could do something like this. Because I don't really want to add much more expensive weaponry, we could just spam rifles. They do counter enemy troops and planes, which kind of fits with the theme of the craft. They don't take all that much ammo, and they don't take all that much manpower. They're also accurate to 1,900 meters, which is pretty good. And in that sheer number, it would be okay at taking out lightly armored enemies, with these things taking out everything else. I mean, come on, we have three aerial torpedoes. They are going to hurt a lot. Or, of course, we could just go with rockets. We could have a row of rockets, which are all also easy to detonate. Yeah. You there, if you could be so kind as to hold fire. I just want to see what these tiny little planes are capable of, and if they even attack enemies. Okay, yeah, they do attack, but yeah, they're going to be killed by flamers, of course. That is very weak. I'm just thinking, perhaps I just want the bombers. The good thing with the bombers is they don't go directly at the enemy. Unlike everything else, they don't go in front of the enemy, they go above the enemy, which means they're not as vulnerable to stuff like that as the little mini um, airships. And, well, what we've just seen then. So, what if we remove these and let's try out the triplane? Let's see if that's any better. The original one. Well, the lower level one, I should say. Okay, let's test this again. So currently, it's using stone wall. Weight, 100 for 80 HP. This is weight 35 for 90 HP. With massive resistance. There we are. And that should make the spider practically just almost immortal. On top of all that, we now have a repair bay, a sick bay, and an extra bridge. And we even have some deck guns, which I've not used before. The deck guns are pretty good, actually. They're basically stronger cannons. At least I think they're stronger. Certainly hope so. Weapons, cannon... Nope, they're weaker. No, 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 they are stronger because they fire. Yeah, they fire every one second. These fire every two seconds, but these do slightly less damage. These also have a better arc in terms of firing upwards, which is nice. 
if we give this medium steel armor, which is far better than the regular one, if we look there, steel armor, HB 45, HB 27, weight 1, weight 14, but here's the thing, 18 blast damage resistance, 6 piercing. This is only 8 and then 3. The difference is quite extreme. But I would kind of want to armor up everything, and that gives us quite a low service ceiling. Let's see, if we look at modules. Okay, so these are the gaps. How about we just put the regular steel wall on all of these? So these are just the regular corridors. All of you can just be regular steel. Except for this middle section here. I would like this to survive everything, just to make sure this thing doesn't go into two halves. So how about like that? Yeah, all of here can be like that. That's fine. That's not particularly important to us. Um, yeah, maybe that's okay. Service ceiling is still pretty good. Why is that a bridge? Or is that just quarters? Yeah, there's a bridge. Okay, yeah, the bridge. I would much rather have regular armor on. Thank you. I'll just double check everything and make a few final adjustments. Then I want to send this into the campaign. What about this? Ooh, I like how that's... Yeah, I do like how it's turned out. I agree with myself. Go me. Hmm, how about if I do this? Yep, I really like that. So the rockets are a little bit separated from each other, which I think will stop them chain reacting. And then we'll just have rifles in between. We almost have the recommended crew as well, so I can definitely lower that a little bit to lower the um, maintenance cost, which isn't as high as I thought it would be. Got to be honest, it's not a good maintenance cost, but it's a little bit cheaper than I expected, which is very, very nice indeed. Just to show how much this thing costs, this costs as much as this. Now, to be fair, if we didn't have the weapons and just had a stick with the balloons and the bombers, it wouldn't cost anywhere near as much. This is very inefficient. I've built this inefficiently, but I love how it looks. It just looks so unique compared to everything else we've seen. Okay, well, let's begin. There's no way this is winning. I'm... Yeah, the Wrath should really win this. Hopefully the sheer number of rockets will win the day, yeah? Okay, move on. Ow. Okay, you're no longer a threat. Move on to the next. Bombers, that means you too. Bombers. Uh-oh. Balloons! You're no Yeah, you're no longer a threat. Yeah, that's the case, isn't it? Try to stay as high as you can. We don't want to go down and get bombed. What did I just say? It's saying that's still your ceiling, but I'm guessing that's not true. Okay, bombers, please go after another target. Do I have any control over the bombers? Darn it. Okay, yep, we're being bombed. Just pause for a second. Am I on the floor? Maybe we need some internal chambers. Similar to the rafts. The bombers are still going. Slowly. Oh my god, it's going to be a victory, technically speaking. <laughs> it actually won. Wow, yeah, this thing is really hard to kill. Yeah, that new armor, much better. Much better than what we have currently. But that's the only reason. Okay, so let's... Um... God, I need to change a few things. I forgot that when these are damaged, they lose their lift. They don't need to be detonated. 
The problem is, a single chamber, unlike with the Wrath, a single chamber won't let this thing fly. It'll need two or one of the larger variants. And that's going to be expensive. But is that worth it? Is that a necessary expense? Maybe it is. Put one here, one here, maybe. Okay, let's just see something. So if I remove all these balloons... Ta-da! Now we have our service ceiling of minus 107. Put one of those there, which is probably bad because of, because of the balloons there. And then put one of these here. We can't because... why not? Yeah, what's there to block it, exactly? Okay, well I could r remove this bridge and put that elsewhere. Nope, still minus. And that was just to even check if we could do that. It's too expensive, it really is. On the upside, if we do have these, we would be able to get a much better service ceiling. If we put our balloons back, there we go, as if by magic. Then we put two of these down. Service ceiling is now 269. Huh. So, I did a second test, this time controlling a little bit better, and well, it was an absolute bloodbath. Whoops. <laughs> Except for this last bit. Which, of course, naturally I then instantly forget how to control things. Surprise! Flipped. We're taking the island with us. Ow. Glory to the Legion. Here we are then, back in the campaign. So right now... Oh dear, this is going to be a bloodbath. <laughs> well, right now, I am researching the bombers so I can build the carrier. So, yeah. Still, this is pretty dreadful. Aims fire, please. It's night time and you're very inaccurate. One hit, maybe? No, not, not one. Just one little... Yeah, there you go. Just stay facing forwards for now, I suppose. You just uh, move backwards when you can. That would be lovely. No need to flip or anything. Um, yeah, just keep facing forwards. Bomb whatever's closest. Can we take out one, maybe? Oh, that one's balloon's about to pop. You two focus on that one. Go on, let's at least cause one casualty. These things only cost like 200. So even losing all of these and only taking out one isn't actually that bad. Can't move you to flip yet, which is annoying. Uh, could put you in reserve. That's not too great. We could have just fled, but I feel like causing some damage is better than nothing. Oh dear. Nope, all gone. Oh, one swarm technically survived, but needs repairs. Okay. You two are a bit too hurt for this. Three piranha versus all of that? It's going to be difficult, but sure. I've also bumped up our science, so now we are Empire of Science, so I can get this as soon as possible. Hello. You outnumber us horribly. Um, okay. That happened. Your balloon is not looking the best, got to be honest. Now, all of you can fire directly down, and staying here means they don't get that advantage with the sun. Okay, you're about to detonate. I was about to say move down here, so at least when you detonate you can hurt them, but it seems like it's a bit late for that. Okay, those two are pretty much useless. Focus on this one. Come on, three piranhas. You can do it. Okay, he's pretty much down. Who's still firing? You are. Change targets.
There we go. Say goodbye to his outer armor and goodbye. Behold the power of the piranha. At some point, I need to try out their tanks. A lot hardier than the raw balloons, but still not quite as easy to defend as the chambers. Okay, angry at him instead. To be fair, that's fine. We done yet? Oh no, this guy's still firing! Didn't even notice because the shots have been missing so much for being so long range and against the sun. Eventually we shall win. Or we shall run out of ammo. No, we are victorious. Okay, good. Oop. Didn't even see what happened then. Could I have just allowed it to happen? Uh, sure. Fight it until you die. Just... Let's go straight into rapid fire. Why not, eh? It's fun. Actually, it might stand a chance. Uh, aim fire. No, I'd say it's close enough. Plus, with the fog, we have a slight advantage him not hitting every single shot. There go some of his bombs. All of his bombs. Goodbye. That was down here. Okay. Oh, that was that. I should have paid more attention because, yep, I really want that to be protected as much as possible. Perhaps I'll make the carrier down here and then take over and think using the carrier. That'd be interesting. Uh, two piranhas invade that, please. Go down to avoid flak. Aim to fire. It's night time, so both sides are very inaccurate right now. Tempted to get closer because his few hits will likely down us, so sure. We'll take more damage, but I just needed to be there. Balloons down, balloons down. Next time, next playthrough, I think I'll avoid the balloons a bit more. But I just love how they look. Come on. We now have bombers. Glorious. And we're about to be attacked over there. Well, whoops a daisy with that. Um, yeah, you can defend that since it's only a single bomber on the enemy's team. You're just reinforcing. No, you're not. You're trying to invade without me noticing. Well, that's just annoying. Well, are you okay? Yes, you are. Good, good. Not there. Try again, Lathrix. There we go. And you, build the carrier, please, which definitely needs a better name later. Well, you're going to win this. But then we'll just kill you afterwards. Told you we'd kill you afterwards. Now here's a choice which I'm not sure which I want to go with. With this, we have minus 30% steel armor white, which is amazing. Or we make steel armor even better versus blasts. That does mean the spider will be very, very, very difficult to kill via bombers. But this would mean that the carrier can, well, go to the ceiling again, which would be really good. For now, I'll go with white. For now. Annoyingly, the sun is this direction, but hopefully that won't really make too much of a difference considering our main weapon is flamethrowers. Our main weapons are flamethrowers. Words. Just burn that one down so I can move, please. Thank you. 
I see a few holes in the abdomen, but that's not really the important section of this craft. Oh, taking a bit more damage this time, but still, considering these used to be almost impossible to defeat, please put that fire out. Good, good. Once again, thank you. I think I've lost a lot of my crew. We are just about functioning. Come on, you can do it. You're so close. I mean, like, you are ridiculously close. Just use the weapons. Stop everything else. I love the spider. Brutal takeover. And that's pretty much the Red Legion done. We've pushed them all the way back to here. That's pretty fantastic. Hmm, you're going to defend, are you? Well, then in that case, I'm going to be annoying. Ooh. Apparently there's a far larger dragon. Well, that's terrifying. Um, there he is. I kind of want to see him, but I think I'll die. I want to see him. Carrier, in that case, reinforced there. Uh, no, that just seems like normal dragons. Well, we're dead then, aren't we? Uh, flee. Okay, the enemy are definitely attacking us because we just burnt something down, so... They'll take that, you take it back. And you two should really be retrofitted. Here's the question. Can I even get across the channel? I guess I can, I suppose. I can bring the fire leg over here. Repair up and then get ready to go. You two transform into your new selves. Completely anti-building now. Same with you. And there we go. Anything nearby to defend? Got the second carrier, sure. What else do we have to research? Uh, heavy turrets. Well, we're dead. Goodbye. And then say hello to the carrier. Oh, point blank rockets. That's pretty nice. I am really using this just as a much larger piranha, aren't I? Hey, it works. Did you just ram off my weapon? Well, that's just mean. Go get him, blinds. Do you not need to be repaired? Oh, of course, because he took it over first. Uh, brutal, so I can instantly repair. There we go. Two carriers, both there together, which would be quite interesting, because then, well, lots and lots of planes. I'm just going to... yeah, just repair you. That's fine. Brigands versus a carrier. Basically, I'm fighting pirates. I really expected the bombers to automatically go after the building then, for some reason. Go, go, go! Now, this thing does have rifles, so I imagine it will fire at the bombers, but, well... 
Yep, those still do the same damage as a regular Bombay. And the whole time I could be nice and safe over here rather than above the enemy. Yeah, I can see perhaps these with only one row of balloons and no main weapons. That would probably be far, far better. Well done, you cleaned up the enemy. Aren't you a special cupcake? Anything else you need to kill around here? I mean, it's little dragons and stuff, but I'm not fighting... Oh yeah, the Sky Kraken as well. I wonder how good the bombers are versus the Sky Kraken. I mean, it's such a huge target. It is affecting us quite badly, but I don't think a carrier could win that. Maybe a lot of carriers? I mean, they've got a huge amount of crew as well, and the Kraken wins by killing the crew. So if we group together a load of carriers, maybe that would work? Maybe. That Kraken looks badly hurt already. Um, don't really know how to position these things. Look how big they are. Um, go into the very corner, please. Yeah, you just move there. You try and get past it, I guess. And move over here. Can I not zoom out anymore? No, I can't. Um, you just try and stay away, I guess, so you can go to the bottom there. You just uh, rapid fire, because you're closer. Okay, now it looks less hurt. So you flipped, but you didn't actually move. Okay, good to know. Okay, same with you. Now this will make you far less accurate, but I think it's worth it. Try and be as far away from the Kraken as possible. Let the bombers do their work. Oh, okay, so the Kraken is eating the planes. <laughs> of course it is. That was nice. Okay, move further back. Just flip in place, please. Because otherwise I have to wait all the way till there. Okay, it's going to be over there, so... I'm so glad I have so much crew right now. Just keep firing, lads! Are you being dragged? Okay, in that case, just flip on, on the spot. Please? Pretty please? I'm guessing you'll crew- Oh, there we go! No one died! Well, I mean, except for everyone in those planes and the people eaten from the ships themselves. Okay, I like the um, carriers now a lot more, especially with multiple of them. The locals are so thankful they don't have any funds they can. Okay, well, it's a thousand plus, of course, now. These are back at full throttle. Um, could try and invade. Okay, where's their capital? I'm assuming it's them. Maybe not. What's the enemy even called? Okay, so the enemy is named Marshvale. So I'm assuming Marshvale here is indeed their capital. Elder Dragon. Okay, so now the dragon's there. Good to know. Let's go with this. They're all moving in to protect their capital, which makes complete sense. I don't think four of our carriers would really win here. Uh, let's see what their defense... Yeah. Oh, actually, their defense doesn't seem to... Is that it, really? No, the carriers should win this. I must have taken down their capital before. In fact, I think I have, now I'm looking at it. This is going to be an awkward fight. Might put you into reserve just so we can easily move these upwards. All of you. Move like there, I guess. So many missiles. So many bombs. Ooh. 
I love the blinds chasing after it like, aha! Oh, you just rammed me. Lots of rifle shots, lots of rifle. Okay, we win anyway. Ooh, now we get these. The Suspendium Cannon. Okay, well for now though, I'm afraid I really am all out of time for today's video. I think the carrier is better than I originally gave it credit for, but it's definitely not space efficient, or, well not space efficient, it's not cost efficient. The Piranhas definitely do their job better, and the Wrath do the Bomber's job better, but it is a lot of fun. It's a very, very fun unit, and speaking of fun, my god, those spiders. The spiders have become utter brutes. When it comes to taking over cities, they are going to be very, very, very hard to outmatch. And all they really need now is some kind of air support, and then they're done. Or even just a long-range version of the spider. Which is now what I'm going to build in the next video, because we have researched almost everything, including the heavy cannon and heavy turrets, we need to make a super fortified spider or super fortified mobile fortress. Well, either way, thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, then of course, likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Airships Conquer the Skies is a series you wish to see continued in the future. Thank you so, so much for watching, and goodbye.